Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to some more Mortal Kombat X story. Now we're playing as Devorah. I would skip this, but the plot to this does play a big role. Kano talked. Gave us the details on Molina's location. She has the amulet, but she's got a lot of protection. We will strike immediately. Perhaps a two-pronged approach. The army will engage Melina, distract her, while this one retrieves the amulet. Not alone. This one's coming. Honestly, <laughs> Devora, being the character not that kills not she only Baraka but Melina. It's interesting. She must have the biggest distaste for just Tarkatans in general. Oh, yeah, the five years ago. It's interesting that the that the Outworld Civil War isn't even that old, so Melina was Empress of Outworld for a good while before everything else happened and the Civil War started. So after Shao Kahn's death, she was Empress for a very long time. Like others, this one is not heat with Melina as Khan, but it is not clear your who will succeed. That is why I invited our Zaterran friend. Listen, and join us. I know things about Melina. Her troubled rule will fall in the telling and pave the way for Quatal. What would you know that... Oh, man, look at all those NPC Tarkatans. I'm glad that they gave them a little bit more of a... of a different look. But... Uh, like with that, there's female Tarkons, and when you see it in MK11, with there's more different looks to their faces than just, hey, let's just plaster Baraka's face on all of them, add a different uh, armor on it. There you go, guys. I've told you I would sooner die than treat with my father's murderers. You refuse practical solutions to credible threats. You endanger the realm. And sedition does not. Speak your last before I have your tongue. You are not Shao Kahn's true heir. She is a construct formed in Shang Tsung's flesh pits. I saw this. Your best claim to the throne is moot. How dare you! I succeed Shao Kahn by his decree! Succeed him you have, but Outworld demands new leadership. From you, Arshtek fool. Kill him! <laughs> So here's the thing with uh, with Melina is she technically kind of is uh, Shao Kahn's heir because if I don't know if it's still canon or not, but from the original timeline, is if I remember properly, n not only is she a clone of Katana, but she also has and uh, have Tarkhan blood, but I think she also has um, Shao Kahn's DNA in her body. Explaining her like uh, tiger looking eye dragon eye looking eyes So I don't know if that's still canon to this new timeline But she has three different types of DNA in her Shao Kahn's Tarka and and a Denian Which is a uh, katana's So I don't know. I like I honestly like this Baraka uh, design better than the MKX one uh, The other one obviously is more ferocious um, so, you know, it is it is what it is, but I actually don't know how to play with her. Oh shit. Nah, nah, my dude. I love how he has a full-on fight model. He can, he's, he's, I'm fighting him right now. And, and he's not a playable, playable character. Not even DLC, but he's not even in, like, main, like, he's not a main character in this. Like, he, it's kind of stupid. They kill him. Yes, he's dead. But why not have him as a playable character? There have been characters that have been killed, but are still playable. Like, it's really stupid. Like, Frost was in Deception, even though she was frozen in Deadly Alliance. Oh, shit. Yeah! And I don't even know how to use her. Actually, since we're here, let's actually figure out her moveset. So, Bug Blast, Down Forward Square, Double Bug, bug Blast, uh, Crawler, Spurring Pedal, Spewing Pool... What's this? Charge. So they're not very difficult. Okay. Wait, how do I... Hey! Oh, shit! Okay, she does not feel... 
Oh, that's Bug Blast. Okay, come on. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, we got we got something going. Oh, the, the motherfucker drew Blanche. How dare you throw Blanche? Blanche has done nothing to you. Oh shit. Oh shit. No, no. Like, I guess she's the replacement Baraka because she does that with her, uh... Mandibles? I'm assuming those are mandibles? I, I don't know. I'm, I'm not a bug expert. Fuck. Come on. Come on. Holy fuck. Jesus Christ, Baraka. You know, I don't even remember... When the last time I played the story... It's probably been a while, like... Like, legitimately played it for fun. It's probably been a couple years now. So... Ah, oh, fuck. Fuck, I missed that! Ah, oh, son of a bitch, okay. Dude! It's like... Ah, oh, son of a bitch, okay. See... <sighs> this is this game. I can see why there were complaints about this game. It's just the... The actual freaking um... The actual moveset. And, like, when they go down, usually when you... When you fall on the ground, you can automatically uh, uppercut them in any Mortal Kombat game. But this game, there's so much lag about it, like, you can't really... You can't spam it. Oh, cool. I got bug bombs. Okay, let's see. I need to figure out some moves. Bug Blast, Sprawling Petal... Uh, let's, uh... Yeah, I, I guess. But she doesn't really have any, like... Major moves that Fuck dude, come on. That didn't even hurt him. That didn't phase him. Oh my god. Dude, I don't think I ever had a problem with Baraka before. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. It's like fighting rain all over again. Baraka has never been this tough of a character. Baraka has always been such an easy character to to beat. Come on, come on, I got you, I got you. Oh shit. Yes! We... Okay. Fuck. I hate Baraka so much! Jesus, come on! I love this Outworld uh, actual, like... Wow, my voice just cracked hard on that one. Outworld uh, design here. But he threw Blanche! What a monster! Okay, come on. Fuck, 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 fuck. Yes, got him. Jesus Christ. I like to, I, I don't know if you guys have seen Devorah's original concept designs, but she had hair in some of the original designs. I don't understand why they didn't go with that. I, I find it weird here being bald. Like, I know, like, I guess it'd be weird that, uh, that bugs grow hair, but some bugs actually have hair. I mean, look at spiders. The... The tarantula has hair, so I don't... I, well, spiders aren't bugs, they're arachnids. But whatever, I mean, they're still creepy crawlies, I guess. Got him! Yeah, you boy! That was... Sh shouldn't have been as tough as it should have been. Like, it really shouldn't have been that tough. Alright, now it's time to kill Baraka and say goodbye to this character forever. Well, at least just in this timeline. Forward, back, forward, go. There we go. I don't think there's an actual way to actually lose all that. Oh! Oh, Vitality! Yeah, no, he done. I thought she was gonna eat that. Dude, it's been a while, but I thought she was gonna eat that. Damn, I can't believe Barack is dead. Like, I know he dies, but Jesus. I forgot how brutal it was. Your last ally has left you. Take her away. Why would you send Reptile to go put her away? Reptile has never won a single fight in this entire history of the game of the game, dude. Like he has never won a fight. He's never had his own chapter, so he has never won a fight. Melina could easily beat the shit out of him.
And I mean, it's funny because the only reason uh, I don't even know if she worked for uh, for Shinnok and Quan Chi at that time, but she clearly like you wanted Kotal be, to be yeah. leader because I'm guessing because he's easier and it's, he's easier to pr persuade compared to Melina. But that's probably the only reason they went with it. And now the return of rain. You speak of treason. This one knows you desire the throne. Why serve Melina? I advise her. Stealing the amulet was my genius. It kills her a bit each time she uses it. As both sides diminish, you fill the void. Exactly my plan. I thought Tanya is also in the game, but she doesn't become playable until later. I mean, it, I guess it, she was a big request, I guess, of a character. I, I personally don't remember her being a requested character, but I was so disappointed with this game. I didn't even want to put too much effort in news for DLC once. Like, this game just, it irked me with no, like, end. It's so irking of a game to me. Like, it's just... I, I have so much love and hate for this game. It's this is the only Mortal Kombat game that I have such like uh, like I liked playing online. I like doing the crypt stuff sometimes, and like I had fun. But at the same time, there's just so much shit on here that irked me, man. Like God, I don't understand how so many people actually bash on MK11, even though MK11 was cooler of a story. Yeah, uh, you got all the characters you love back, but somehow people still bitch. Like, come on. Yeah, Kenshi wasn't there. I understand that. He, he either really is dead or he's not. We don't know. Fuck. Oh, damn it. Okay, how is Rain easier now? But Baraka was a little bitch to fight. Fuck. I, I love how he was playable in MK, um, MK9. But he... Like, come on. He could be a good villain if they really wanted to make him a villain but they don't touch it they don't give these certain characters the push they need and rain could be a good villain imagine him powered up with the amulet of the shinnok i mean he, he might be the next villain in the next mortal kombat i don't know but he could be leaving without your friend devora your people believe we avoided your island out of respect for your solitary nature we just didn't like you. The Kaitin do prefer solitude, which I will achieve momentarily. I I uh, I don't know. I I how do I don't I don't know how I feel about uh, Tanya's new design. I mean, it's okay. It's she's the actually I guess the only person who really considered Melina a friend and you know slept with her. Uh, I guess she's the only one uh, who cared. Is she a Denian too? Like. I, I can't remember. I think she is a Denian. Yeah, I think she is a Denian, so it's a little interesting. I guess everyone's got their polar opposites, like how Katana has Jade. I guess Melina got Tanya. She was the only one who didn't have alternative motives, alternative motives, and she actually really did like Melina and believed she could be a good con. Uh, she was... Where was she in the complete... Because she wasn't mentioned or shown in Mortal Kombat... Nine, but well, actually, if you play the Vita version, she is in it, but only as like one of the chained up characters. So I don't know. I, I, there's a lot of uh, plot holes and stories that, like, come on, we need more answers to. So I'm guessing there's a lot of Adenian type characters, obviously, uh, that just never got the spot. But I mean, D Dagon's in the game, but Taven is is not mentioned except in like arcade ladder endings. So fucking Tanya. What bullshit was that? Like, god damn it, dude. Got her, got her, got her, got her, got her. Oh, dude, that was dope! Oh, give it up for that game on that one. Yeah, that was dope. Alright, I'll give it that. I'll give it that. That was cool. I didn't even know that was possible to continue the R1 jump off, leap, and then kick. That was cool. That was pretty freaking sick. Come on, kill them. 
Rain and uh, Tanya do get away, which is interesting, and they don't show up again in uh, MK... Uh, MK11. Maybe they'll show up in the next combat go. pack. Let's they'll go. probably play some kind of role. I mean, their stories can. There's everyone in the MK11 story is done. Unless they do a prequel storyline of saying, Stick "Oh, what happened to Kenshi, Takeda, or Kunjin, or Tanya, or Rain?" You know, it's it's stuff like that. So, unless they uh, Ed Boon says, "Hey guys, we're gonna either come out with a new MK11 prequel yeah. comic to tell you what happened in those two years, or we're gonna." come up with a new uh, uh, prequel DLC to tell you what's going on. You would not stray far from the onions. You took my throne. Now you wish to steal my means of reclaiming it. Neither was it for you. Who are you to say? I will take something of yours. Your life! <laughs> uh, best threat ever, girl. Oh, I'm gonna take something of yours. Your life! This is a different uh, Melina voice actress, right? Uh, this isn't the same one from MK9. This sounds very a little different, but it might be the same one. I have to look up the, the voice actors. If it is, it is, and she just knows how to make a Melina sound a little more. Because this Melina is different. This, is, this isn't like Melina from early on in MK9 where she uh, acts like a child. This one actually is a ruthless dictator now. I mean, she doesn't know how to rule, but oh, fucking Melina. She doesn't know how to rule, but she is a dictator. Dude, that is one weird-looking alligator back there. Their alligators have spikes. Like spiky t alligators. Spy spiders. I'm gonna fuck you up. Come on. Oh, damn it. We're good. Thank God for those fucking mandibles. Oh, hell yeah. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, fuck. Fuck, no, 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 no. Fuck. Dude, why am I so open to attacks when doing this part? Dude, that's so stupid. Fucking Melina. That's the shitty... Wow, look at her. <laughs> she actually looks like a... Like a bug that dies. Like when they... When they die. That's weird. I never noticed that with, uh... Devora. That's so weird. There's, uh, those see, those are the little type, little tiny things that I like about this game. Is the the little details that they put into it. But God, the control st scheme feels so horrible in this game. Like, like I hate how it feels, dude. The game just has like a horrible feeling to it. Like when you're trying to hit and it doesn't feel like you're hitting it's like when i played modern warfare 2 again on my ps3 they get like the game i don't know how people like that game so much the game fucking blows in the way where it, the hit detection fucking sucks on it and i could tell i'm directly shooting them but they it's like they're taking the fucking bullets but you know then you get the other call of duties later on see that's what i'm talking about you, you block but somehow you're unable to move until they hit you yes cereal Oh, thank God. Oh, he die! God, I wish they would re bring back uh, character creation in this game. That that would be a sick thing to have in this game again. Oh, shit. Shit, I gotta get out of the corner. Shit, come on, damn it. Fuck. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, I got her! Hell yeah! I think she's the final fight. I think after this, it's Takeda. Yeah, yeah, I think it's Takeda. It's weird that her feet are like heels. That's another weird thing about her. This one will enjoy your death. We beat her! Yeah! High five, guys! We're finally past the goddamn Devora part of the game. Enough of your prattle. Finish me, that I may join my father. You do not deserve death by an emperor's hand. Instead, I give the honor. To my worthy first minister. This is going to be the most disgusting death and very brutal death being eaten by thousands of freaking uh, 
bugs. You, at first you think it's gonna be like uh, like drowning in the bugs, but no, it, they eat at her. My God, this is a really fucked up death, man. Like it's, it's really fucked up. I know a lot of people thinking that she could come back because of the other clones in the flesh pit, but she's the actual only perfect clone that Cheng Sun got going. Is over. I'm sure that they destroyed the rest of the clones in the flesh pit. And, uh, no, I'm sure either Melina did it or Koto did it, so but she can't come back. back to Earth Realm. Put the amulet back where it belongs. What the hell are you doing? Earth Realm cannot be trusted to protect the amulet. It will remain with me. The Reiko Accords require the that accords you... The Accords no longer concern me. But you may prove useful when Raiden comes for this. This one deceived them. The amulet is in Kotokan's possession. You can retrieve it. He trusts no one else to transport it. Keeping you close to the Outworld throne these many years has proven most fortuitous, Devora. They never suspected one of their own to be a disciple of our lord. This one lives to serve Shilok. You have done well. Now bring it to me. Without delay, Archie. They just pulled the fucking Star Wars on me. Now, Devora, ex execute order 66. It will be done, my lord. Do it. Master. I do love those what remnants, and those know? weird goat horses are freaking cool. Shinnok will soon be freed. We make for my fortress. See, see, we already have Reptile that can do that with a spit. What was the point of having her do that? Like, yeah, I know some, I guess, bugs can can do spit. I don't know what kind of fucking bug she is, but they could have done like webbing attacks or something. Like she could be like the Spider-Man of that of that universe. But they gave her basically a Baraka bug hybrid with like Tarkon moves too, which is meh. But yeah, it is what it is. Oh shit, we're going to Jax now. We will continue in the next video, guys, because now we're on Jax's, uh, it should be Takeda, but I guess we're on Jax. I'll see you guys later. If you're new to the channel, click that subscribe button. Turn on that notification bell, because YouTube's uh, notification system is broken as hell. Uh, share the video so you can reach out to more Mortal Kombat fans like yourself. And I'll see you guys for more MKX. Peace, and as always, stay awesome, my otaku army. Bye! Bye